Okay guys, what you're gonna see next is me moving into my Jane Davenport binder and I held on to that video for a while because I know it's not cheap. So I didn't want people to feel like they had to spend $30 on just one binder. So the links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I make a small commission if you were to use those links to make any purchases. But a subscriber here um, and had noticed also, and I just blinked out on this, that they just started, uh, Spellbinders did, a 60% off select products of Jane Davenport items. And oh my gosh, so the prices you see here, if you're looking at them close, are with my 10% discount for being a club member. $4.50. For the binder you guys oh my gosh check it out right now i'm going to show you how i moved into it i have all my jane davenport stuff in it which is really great i love it but um that is ridiculous and a bunch of the stamps i've been using recently and um other things here are a pretty great price too so definitely check that out i will have the links right to the binder in the description box but of course everything else you know you can just shop around there because um even the watercolor the mermaid markers which i really love about 22 25 bucks depends on if you're a part of the club if you're not part of the club and you're interested in doing that you can um join this month if you join one of the value clubs you will get the sprinkle stamp set for free that goes along like with this cake set so that's something you might want to look into but um yeah check that out that's really great hi guys so today i'm doing a little organization in this craft room that sorely needs it but um I wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing with my Jane Davenport binder. So if I have any uh, links, they will be affiliate links in the description box. And that just means if you use those links to do any shopping um, through them, I will make a small commission. And uh, I don't know when I'm actually going to post this video because right now it's full price. And full price is 30 bucks, And I know that's a lot for a binder. So uh, whenever it goes on sale on Spellbinders, I've shown you guys before, um, half price usually around there. And, um, and that's a great value because I love this binder. So it does have its little belly band. And I know Jane Davenport says you can use it this way or this way, however you want to put it. But right now it's off because I have all of this goodness. Because I, you know, I went a little bit crazy in the different sales on Spellbinders to get pretty much everything I liked of hers, which is almost pretty much everything. The only thing is, you know, she, I've seen her use this and, hey, where's my sea flower one? Oh, this one. Um, she just takes out her dies. Obviously, I'm sure she knows the name of her die kits and stuff, but I don't, and I'm not super duper, like, familiar with them, so, um... What I want to do is obviously put in everything. So the binder has a big pocket over here on this side. I know it's hard to see. It has a clipboard or a clippy, you know. Um, it has two big pockets that you can put, you know, like your stencils and things like that in. I suppose whatever papers, things that you want to carry around. So it has two of those big ones. I think it has ten of these um, four pockets. Like they're four. On the top it has, again, a little flap. So I'm gonna put my dies up here and at the bottom it just has stamps or not stamps but it has just these open pockets and I've seen that she puts her dies wherever and then she puts a little washi just so she's assured that they don't open up you know and drop her uh, things but I was like no I think I'm gonna do mine differently so what I'm gonna do is go through and I love her packaging that's the other thing I don't want to get rid of this this doesn't fit in here you know it's just a little bit too wide so I thought well I can trim it down but I think what I'm gonna do just so that it makes it easy for me to get them to use them and that kills me getting rid of packaging. It's so hard for me to do. <laughs> I'm gonna open this up, take this off. I mean, I guess you could leave it on there, but what I'm gonna do is cut them down in a way that will still fit in here. I can still have some of that pretty color. And then, you know, in the back, I still see a little bit of this. So I'm basically gonna put them this way. Again, you can cut them down skinnier, but for me, if I can just give it one chop and it's up here, then that's fine with me too. So, and then that way I'll have the names of these items. So whenever I use them, like in a project, I'm not like, oh, I don't know the name of this one. You know, I'll know oh, this is sea flower or whatever. So, hey, that was the perfect cut. And then I'm going to put the dies in with it. And I'm going to do that with all of them. The stamps, I have shoved them in here before. <laughs> That's very delicately. I'm like, I have shoved them in here before. Let me find a set that looks good. Okay, maybe this set. And it fits. Um, I've seen in her videos too, what she'll do is she just has like the carrier sheet inside. And hopefully you can kind of see, it'll, it'll go in. But I have a feeling every time I want to use them, I have to pull and mess with it. You know, it's a very snug fit, which is nice. But what I'm going to do with these, I do like keeping my, camp, my stamps on the carrier. So what she does is she'll keep the carrier sheet in here, like tucked in there. And then she just sticks the stamps on the outside. Because they'll stick, right? So all she has is the little sheet in there, and then these guys stick. But um, I'm much too, uh, well, you know, maybe I'll switch out to that later. I don't know. For right now... It does make it easy though, because they're just on the outside, you just grab it, you know? What I'm going to do is just, just barely cut off a little bit of the carrier sheet on 
right through. Obviously, I don't want to cut my stamps, but um, just right through to the other. Maybe in the next one, I'll do it one at a time instead of <laughs> cutting through both layers. And that should make it easier for this to go in here. And see, that's much easier. And so I just trimmed a little piece off. And again, I want to know the names of them, so I will probably do the same thing if this has a name. See, this one doesn't. This is JD049. I don't know if some of the other ones do tell you a name. So, uh, maybe I won't keep that part of this one, but maybe I will keep the the paper, the white paper, you know, so I can kind of have a backing. So I'm going to trim these down a little bit, maybe something like this. Well, if I'm going to keep it, I might as well keep the name, huh? Hmm. Let me see. Does that fit in there? I'm getting the carrier sheet there. That does fit. Okay. So I'll keep the name. I'll cut it a little bit nicer, though, <laughs> on the next one. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through all my stamps and dies and just cut them down just like this and have them ready to go. And I'll come back and show you what that looks okay, like. Okay, guys, that didn't take too long. I love this. I know it's hard to see because there's so much going on. But uh, okay, we have those two blank ones and then these guys are all in here. And all this lets me know, I try to make it to make sense, like the faces and stuff, is that I need um, more dies. <laughs> that's all the dies I have. And then the rest are just empty on the top. And I could put stamps up there too, but I just... I uh, aspire to have more dice, so no worries there. But yeah, they just put them in here, and some of them were small enough to just slide in. Some I still had to cut down a little bit on the side. But um, so really cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I do have two of these. I got another one because I figured maybe I'll put like my Spellbinders dies in there, or maybe like the cute little um, art impression stamps. I don't know, something that I don't have the biggest collection, so I can just basically put it all in here, and I think it'll be really nice. So uh, I love it. I love these things. Oh, and on the back, there's another big. Uh, holder space there and then I like I had this little thing where we had kind of played around so I just kind of keep that in there I might put them in here I have other little items like that but I kind of end up putting them inside my um my little junk journal like this lady uh, after we worked on her I think I reviewed the real brush pens from Arteza with this one and I just put it in here and made a little note of what that was and then little pieces and scraps I did want to show you my art journal or junk journal I just kind of keep them in here like I don't know why I have this piece of stuff and then some little art impressions things that I've worked on and little scraps of ribbon that I got from packaging here and there and you know just put things in here oh this one's really fun if you guys remember I had shown um how to junk out your little um elephant from a lion king and lion king <laughs> <laughs> from local king and so i just put another one in here so I thought that was fun but anyhow all right guys lots of lots of room for inspiration in here thanks for watching um i just wanted to show you you know moving in this i do have a lot of things that i still need to organize and go through and so like i said i don't know when i'm gonna upload this video but um hopefully uh i'll have done some more organizing in here some more de-stashing or at least some going through things because i have tons of things i still need to go through from when I moved here. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.